So every year, Samsung releases a new Galaxy device, and every year they talk about DeX. And in previous years, it's been great, but there's always some sort of lag or application crash or something not working with it well. But this year, man, these S21 Ultras are so good, and for some reason, the DeX experience feels polished. And I can literally use this as a desktop replacement as long as I'm doing general productivity. You're obviously not gonna be editing videos on this or doing any 3D work. Now, before I begin and tell you my setup and exactly how you should use this, give this video a like, because it tells me and the algorithm that you're enjoying the style of content and it motivates me to make more videos like this. In order to make this work, you need a bunch of stuff. First is the smartphone. It has to be a Galaxy device for Samsung DeX to work. Not all Galaxy devices are compatible with Samsung DeX, but a lot of them are. I'm using the S21 Ultra. If you're curious to know if yours will work with DeX, I'll place a compatibility list in the description down below. Next, you need a cable. You need a cable to connect the smartphone to the display. Ivanki was kind enough to sponsor this video and provide their cables, and man, they got some really nice quality cables. Like, look at this thing. It doesn't cost a lot of money, but it's so well made. This is a thick braided cable. It feels very premium. It's less likely to break or tangle because of its thickness. They even plated the HDMI connector in gold, or at least a gold color. And the enclosure is super thick so that if you drop something on it, it's less likely to break. Now, when you connect this from the back of your phone to the display, you'll get a 1080p connection. That's just what the Galaxy device supports. But this cable can go up to 4K 60 Hertz. So even if you don't use it with your smartphone the entire time, you can connect it to your laptop laptop, connect it to a second monitor and get a 4K image, assuming the monitor supports 4K. Now, if you want to charge the phone at the same time, this method is not going to work. You need to take a look at one of Ivanki's USB Type-C hubs. You connect the USB Type-C port to the bottom of the Galaxy device, and then you connect an HDMI cable from the back of your monitor to the hub and then you connect your Samsung charger to the USB Type-C power delivery port on the hub, and you'll get an image on the display, and it will also charge your smartphone at the same time. Now, since we're talking about the monitor, do not buy a 4K monitor for this setup. Focus on 1080p. That's the maximum resolution that the Galaxy will support using Samsung DeX. I don't want you to spend more money on a monitor that's not gonna be taken advantage of. 1080p is the max resolution. And trust me, it looks great. They did a good job of scaling the content. Granted, some games and other titles will lower the resolution because you are blowing it up on a bigger display, but the overall desktop and Android applications that you're using it will run at 1080p. As for the keyboard, in fact, as for every other device I talk about, think about using Bluetooth because the Galaxy device can have multiple Bluetooth connections and it does it so well. It's cleaner, it makes everything portable since you can just pick it up and throw it in your bag, and there's no wires. Now, I'm using a mechanical keyboard. You don't have to use this, but I've been using the Keychron K2 for years, and it's been a fantastic device. The mouse, I don't like the mouse I'm using, but it's the only Bluetooth mouse I have in the studio right now, and it's the MX vertical mouse, and it's for right-handed people, but I'm left-handed. Get a gaming controller, especially if you game, because all the Android games that support controller works through desk. I was able to play Call of Duty Ghost Recon without any issues. Sure, that the quality on DeX is not as pixel perfect as it is on a smaller display, but it runs fluidly. And to be able to play that on a bigger screen with a little bit of resolution degradation, is, is nice. Now, if you're thinking about using this with Xbox Game Pass, you can do it, but every once in a while, I saw the screen refresh, which was kind of annoying. But once you're in the actual game, again, just like Call of Duty, the resolution slightly drops, but the game is totally playable. And finally, sound. You can either hook up a Bluetooth speaker, but there might be a little bit of a delay, or you can use wireless earbuds. I'm using the Galaxy Buds Pro because it connects perfectly with the device and they sound fantastic. Now you're probably wondering why is there a light 
above the display. Well, a lot of you who are watching this video are probably working from home and whatever setting you're in might be a bit too dark. You can use this ring light, which didn't cost too much. I think it was about $40 Canadian and it will light your face, which will make you a lot more pleasing to look at when you're in a conference call. The beauty about this light is you can use it for other stuff. Like if you back off away from the computer and you stand up, you're still in frame, which means if you're on social media making TikTok videos, you can absolutely do it with this style of light. And the last piece of equipment is the Elgato Multipoint. This holds the light and the phone and it clamps to the back of your desk and it just makes the entire setup look clean. You don't have to buy this. If you have a tiny tripod lying around, you can place it behind the monitor too. It'll just look a bit messier. Honestly, I am super impressed how far Dex has come. I decided to use it for a couple of days as my predominant workstation, at least for the productivity based stuff. I was typing a script, which is something I never do. I usually don't script, but I did for this particular video. And I had another document opened beside it. I was able to snap them to the size of the screen so they were equal, something you usually do in Windows 10, not on a smartphone. Then I opened up a browser. I started looking up information, copying it into the document so I could reference it. It just felt like a proper desktop computer. Then I had a couple of Zoom calls, meetings from PR companies. I was able to do it all from my phone. Using the camera on your phone looks so much better than a crappy webcam that's on your computer. I hope this video provided some value to you. If you're interested in picking up any of the things I talked about or these awesome Ivanki cables, I'll place links in the description down below. I hope you liked the video because if you did, I'd appreciate it if you hit the like button. If you're new to the channel, subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one.